Hi folks, this is Nathan again with the ebookreader.com. I'm going to give you guys a look at a rooted Sony PRS-T1 for this video. So some directions got posted the other day and it's actually incredibly easy to do. It takes five minutes. I actually took a first look at it and thought it was complicated, but it's really easy. Uh, it's in its early stages though, so there's still plenty of bugs. If you're a newbie, I wouldn't recommend doing this, but if you're familiar with Android, it's something to uh, play around with. So it turns out the Sony runs Android 2.2, as you can see right there in the settings here. Uh, like I said, there's not very much storage space right now. Um, I just got like five megabytes available and I only installed like two apps. So um, yeah, that's kind of one thing. So let me show you this other deal right now. It's really cool because you still have your regular Sony functionality right here. You've got the whole regular Sony um, app over here with all your regular features. And then if you hit the other button, essentially you have your Android version over here. And then you've got the other apps. So I was able to install a few apps. It comes with Cool Reader. I uninstalled the Cool Reader that it came with and installed the one for the Nook Touch just to see if I could get it to work without page refresh. But actually it doesn't. But the app does work really well. It's got the uh, page buttons work. And obviously it's just got the regular refresh. It looks just like the Sony app as far as refreshing goes. It doesn't have any excess. Uh, you got the same on-screen features. Um, actually I don't have it set up for double tap. Uh, you got the same on-screen features as the regular app. All the other stuff is in here. Um, so another app I was able to install was the Kindle app and it works very well. So right here we've got the just the regular background. I was messing around and you can actually um, use the black background as well. So you can't use the page buttons annoyingly though. Um, you gotta tap the screen but the refresh isn't bad at all. It's just like a regular ebook. If you just tap the screen, if you do the swipe, you get like the full animated page turns, which isn't exactly pleasant on the e-ink screen. But yeah, the taps actually look really good. Um, so if you hold down on the word, you got the usual stuff. Okay, that's an interesting word, gizzard. Okay, uh, you got the regular highlights, the dictionary, and you've got the searching stuff as well. So you can search on Wikipedia too. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, you got all the other on-screen features, you know, the different text sizes, the bookmarks, the um, table of contents. So yeah, you've got the black background. Like if you've seen my Nook videos, my rooted Nook videos, I got the uh, black background. It works a little better on the Aldeco app than it does the Kindle app because the white is whiter. But it's kind of something interesting to mess with sometimes. I couldn't get the Aldeco app to install for some reason though, it just wouldn't work. Some of the other apps I got to install here was the Amazon App Store. Um, yeah, easy PDF, but it was flashing like crazy, so I uninstalled it. Pandora, so that's one cool thing about the Sony is that you can install music apps because it has the audio player, it has headphone jacks. So that's like the advantage it has over the Nook is it has audio support and it has pinch zooming because it has the multi-touch support where the Nook does not have multi-touch support. So it does have a couple advantages, but right now this rooting process is still in its early stages, so I wouldn't recommend it if you're a beginner. Um, but if you're familiar with Android, it's, uh, it's just something to mess around with. It's kind of fun. Uh, there's, like I said, there's not a lot of storage space for apps at the moment, and there's lots of flashing and a uh, number of apps that gets really annoying. Like right here, it flashes like 20 times. Um, so yeah, it does have some stuff to work out, but it's kind of cool to see the beginning starts, uh, the beginning phases of uh, how it gets started with the Android process on Sony. Like you obviously got the other home screens over here as well. Uh, so it's like just the regular Android setup here. So you've got the, you hold down on screen and you get the widget icons, all that kind of action. I haven't really okay, so I'll be posting some directions down the road on how to do this uh, for simpler methods once they get all the bugs worked out. But for now, uh, if you want to check this out, check out ebookreader.com. I'll have some uh, more information on there, and I'll keep you posted on more info about reading the Sony PRST1. So uh, check that out. Thank you for watching.